was somebody who we were um uh, yeah, it was somebody she she had went to truck driving school, she was a class behind me. Uh-huh. But we all was at the same hotel, you know, we talk, kick it, you know, have conversation. And me and her, we just uh, you know, just it'd be a cool. We was on a we was on the phone one day, you know, 'cause like we all exchange each other's number when we graduate and everything to keep up with each right, other. Right, right. So, you know, just one day, uh she hit me up out of the blue or I hit her up one of the two, just say how things were going and she was just telling me like, you know, it's okay, her teammate ain't this. It was like she was telling me like how her teammate they'll have to be somewhere. She'll drive like five hundred Hundred miles or something like that, and it'd be her teammate to drive, turn to drive. She'll go in the back and go to sleep and everything, so she can get some rest. She just got through driving five hundred miles, and next thing you know, she wake up. Her, she see her teammate clock is gone, but she only drove like two hundred, three hundred miles. <laughs> and then it was a bunch of other. It was a bunch of other stuff she said she was doing too. But I told her, I'm like, look, if my DM cool with it, and your DM cool with it. I don't have a teammate right now. If you want a team drive with me, we can get out here and get this money. You know what I'm saying? We was we went strictly business with it, and and one thing led to another. When we ended up being teammates, where I was sitting down in Kentucky, she was 30 miles from me. Ironically, yeah. so it was meant to be. She they they approved they approved the switch. They she uh her they drove the truck to the truck stop I was at and she got in the truck with me and we just headed on out and when I tell you we ran hard C R England treated us like we had batteries in our back. Okay, so wait a minute. Like, so, you, had, so you so so you still at seventeen cent a mile though. Where was she at? But we were both we were both at the same thing. By this time, uh, by this time, when she got on the truck, like since we were like a week behind each other, uh, our pay rates, our pay rates, uh, like they changed at the same time. Uh, and mind you, we went from seventeen, we 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 went from seventeen cents to nineteen cents, from nineteen uh, to twenty one, from twenty one to twenty three. Uh, we ended up, we both ended up leaving. We went to twenty four and a half cents, bro. Uh, we were splitting twenty eight cents a mile. Oh, uh, that, that, that you you. Uh, Man, that that chitlin's just looking uglier and uglier by the minute, man. Like, but you know what I'm saying? That so shit we, is we nasty, bro. I mean, I mean, <laughs> that that is that is that is that is freaking nasty, man. You seven, 17, seven, 17, Oh my god, I can't wrap my head around that, man. I cannot. Yeah, I, I, I I cannot wrap my it, head around that, bro. Seven th- the, str- the struggle, the, the struggle was real. And if you wanted to do a cash advance, the only cash advance they was gonna let you do was eighty dollars twice a week. Bro, I can't wrap my head around that, man. Seventeen, and I'm going by average. So, if you, I, I know this is like teaming. I'm, I'm just using average. All right, so twenty five hundred miles, bro. Seventeen cent. That's about four hundred and some change, man. Okay. Who 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 was doing twenty five hundred miles? We won't no, do no 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 no. I'm just saying uh, average. About, no oh. no no. I'm just saying <laughs> ab- no no no. I'm I'm not saying that you uh did twenty five hundred miles. I I know team driving is is a hell hell of a lot more. But I'm just using the average. Like let's say if let's say if you know you just did twenty five hundred miles. Which you know is the average. When you call them up, they'd be like, yeah, you know, you can average about twenty five hundred miles. Well, what about the 3,000 miles that y'all said in this paperwork? No, you can average about 2,500 miles. Okay, so average, uh, 17, 17 cent average, 25. That's 400 and some change, man. I can't, I can't wrap exactly. my head. I can't that, wrap my head around that, bro. And that's, and that's before taxes is that, you have. Yeah, that's, yeah, time, after taxes, you looking done. at, you... Man, or uh, man, I'm uh, after taxes. You be like, you you be like, yo, am I on, am I paying child support here, bro? It, it was crazy. Oh man, time I but I'm, paying, I'm sure time I wasn't paying child support. I'm I'm, but I'm but sure I, but, you know with the team with the team driving, you guys was averaging a, a lot more miles than that. But still, though, seventeen our, cent. Our average was right around. Our, 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 me and her, our average was weekly was about forty, was about right around five thousand miles a week. Our most miles to date, when we was on that truck, we did sixty, sixty three hundred miles in one week. Oh my god! And that was like, and that was just, and that, and that was a fifteen hundred dollar paycheck before tax, barely. Oh, man, bro, seventeen cent. That's that's why it's always best to 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 look at the end game part of it. 
you know, I was talking to a I was talking to a driver and me and him agreed that, you know, at the end of the week, we just look at the end game part of it because if somebody was to tell me that I was that I was to make 17 cent a mile, yeah, I I no, I'm I'm good. Just I'm I'm glad I got my license and it's time to bounce. I can't I I'm not going to drive yeah. your truck for 17 cent a mile. I can't see it. Now, yes. now that's that that was that, that was the over the road right now. They now they big thing is they would say you can come in and you can go into the fleet of your choice. Mm -hmm. But what they don't tell you is it's hard as hell to get in those different fleets. You know, I had another homeboy. He he was a CR English just about as much time as I was. He uh he ended up getting into one of their dedicated fleets right off the back. You know, what I'm saying they say you're supposed to have at least six months under your belt before you can get into these dedicated fleets. He got into a family dollar dedicated dedicated fleet. And for those of y'all who don't know, a truck driver who's a company driver on a family dollar dedicated fleet, that's about a good fifteen hundred dollar fifteen hundred dollar a week consistent check. Right. But you're gonna work for every penny of that fifteen hundred dollars. Exactly. If you've ever seen a family dollar truck loaded, mm -hmm. that's a workout beyond workout mm -hmm. and you got plenty of stops and he and he did that for he did he, did, he was there for about a long period of time me and her we uh we uh she went to a different company i stayed on with them a little while longer because i had license issues you know right. i end up their flat now their flatbed division is really good their flatbed division is good they were only paying me like 42 cents a mile to do their, their flatbed division going from city to city doing pods mm -hmm. but other than that you know i've ran into some drivers who are who um do local work and they average about maybe fifteen, sixteen hundred a week. Okay. But it all, like I said, it all depends on the area you live in. And one of the biggest drawbacks for me with CR England was I live on the East Coast and she lived in Georgia. You know okay. what I'm saying? I'm moving to Georgia now, but, but you know what I'm saying? But my first year driving, I had been to California with CR England. I had been to California more times in a month than I had been home in a year. <laughs> How's that California Every time I driving? Around, I was a California. <laughs> I don't. I hate it. I hate it. Jesus, I hate it. They nothing. No, if anybody's li listening from Cali or anything else like that, nothing to get you. But dri as a truck driver in California, I hate the entire Pacific, the entire Pacific Northwest, the whole that whole side of the board. I hate driving a truck on. <laughs> that, that's it. That's it's like that, that's like me. That that's how I feel with the Northeast. <laughs> Man, it's just oh my god. It's you just, say the whole like, Pacific, you don't even fuck with. <laughs> Oh, bro, it's just like, bro, because CR England would do some of the bad, most backward stuff. Like, they'll give us they'll give us good runs. Like, I don't know if anybody ever heard of XPO or Conway. Mm -hmm. It's a team. It, you have to be a team. A team driving to do their loads. We would pick up a load in, like, somewhere in New Jersey, and it has to go to the Bay Area of California, like Oakland somewhere. Mm -hmm. Now, after we drop this off, we're waiting for our next load. This is how they would piss me off every time they did because they were so good for doing it. We would drop off in, like, the Bay Area of North Northern California, and if you're driving trucks and you're driving into California, ain't no freight coming out of the northern north North California. Everything's in SoCal, mm -hmm. so they would concoct some crazy equipment move they would get us to do to drive 500 miles in this. Mind you, this is still in state down to Southern California to where their yard is or that area. Mm -hmm. Pick up a low and send us back up to damn Oregon somewhere. <laughs> that's not like that. That's not like my issues when I first started. Uh, get up in the northeast, pick up over at the TS, and then take it back up in the deep woods northeast, man. Like, yo, bro. I, I mean, with with with, with uh, US Express, I, I've been. It, it's like I damn near lived in the northeast. That's. It's like they they like. Well, that's where all our freight is uh, coming from the northeast. They don't 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 say no. Nah, don't keep me up here. Yeah, I would I, get a low. I, 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 I'll never believe that. I don't, I, I don't these these mega companies like US Express and CR England, mm -hmm. they always say, Well, all our freight there's, there's no way there's no way you can tell me all your freight is in with is, is that no. There's no way you can possibly tell me that. That they good they, and like they, that's, you just, they good for it. You know, I'll be in Laredo, Texas. I would get a good run, you know, say about uh fifteen, sixteen hundred down to Laredo, Texas. And then my then my low which will be a good run back up in the uh, Baltimore. I mean, back up in the Maryland, H uh, Higginsville, Hugginsville, whatever the fuck Ville, uh, uh, Maryland. <laughs> and then when I get up there to that TA, that's it. I get, it, it's like I get stuck there. I, I turn into a local driver when I, when I get up there. Okay. Well go over to that pilot across the street 
and uh, wait for wait for a load. Okay, I get the load. I'm thinking I'm about to head back down somewhere else, and then I get a I I, I get a ping that says, "Yo, pick up from TS." Okay, take it up to Maine. Like what the fu- what? Come on. <laughs> I, I, yeah, that's one thing about Laredo. Laredo, you get a little out of Laredo. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a coin flip of where you gonna go. You know what I'm saying? Unless you just run into something dedicated, you know, like exactly. And I, that's that's the t- t- and that once again, nothing against the people, the fine people of the state of Texas. That's another state I hate driving. Oh no, I, 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 uh, 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 don't don't talk about Texas. Uh, uh, don't, uh, uh, don't talk about Texas. Mm, no, that's, no that's, don't get me wrong, Texas. I love Texas. Uh, 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 well, they want to look at moving to Houston. But the only reason, there's only two things I don't like about Texas when driving a truck. Mm-hmm. It's so goddamn big. And uh, then two, yeah, it seems like everywhere, yeah, all the places they want to send me in, in Texas is under construction. The roads is always under construction. Well, everywhere you know, they want to send me. You, That's you the know only what? two things I don't like about Texas. You know what? It's funny. It's it's funny. It's like you. it, it takes, if you start at the top of Texas, it takes you a whole week to get down to the bottom of Texas. <laughs> that's, I always say that, but no, nah, bro, don't talk about Texas. That's what that's where majority of my fan, my uh, my support and my fans is from. I fuck with Texas, bro. I mean, you get no, you you I, got I, you. I, I mean, it's truck it's truck friendly. It, it is truck friendly, and it's plenty, plenty. Plenty of parking. Well, except for over in uh in the Houston area, that little bullshit corner by uh uh where the loves and uh and the pilot is. But still, there there is yeah, some, I know exactly what you're talking about. There there is some <laughs> ad- adequate adequate parking that you can uh that that you can park down there though. But yeah, man, Texas is truck friendly, <laughs> but, but it does. <laughs> At the top of Texas, it does take you about a week to get oh, down yeah. to the bottom. So, uh, yeah, man, well, so, I, don't know. I, I can't, I can't, I can't speak too bad about CR England. Like I said, they gave me my star. I had some good memories, mm-hmm. granted, of who I was driving with. But you know, all in all, as far as the training, the training, what my my individual instructor was, he would he was good. He pretty much he taught it. He taught us how to do this shit the right way. You know what I'm saying? But far as like accommodating you. And if you want to, if you come in in the truck and to make money, you have to remember, like most truckers are going to tell you that first six months to a year, you might not make shit. If you were CR England, you really not going to make shit. You know what I'm saying? It's you just, did. You uh, lowered I, the I, voice I, again. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to make Bro, shit with just, CR England. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could drive for them all day. You get in a dedicated account. Now they have some some hot spots, some areas you can make some decent money at. But that's on you. I didn't get into this to like you know to just keep making the next person who owned the truck rich. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to get right. in something to where you know I can I can build my own future. You know, establish my own stuff and things like that. Buy my own house things. And then and then CR England just wasn't a part of that vision. And before I left CR England, I started just coming up with a list of what I wanted to do and just try to find that giving that I still had, you know, granted I know, minor license issue, which is an SR22 that I had to hold on my license until the end of this year. Mm-hmm. But, you know, just finding a company that had no problem with that. And I knew I wanted to go lease, and I just came up with things I wanted to do. I wanted to find a walkaway lease. I wanted to find somebody that had a fuel incentive, somebody to where my I didn't have a huge balloon payment, if one at all, and one to where, you know, it wasn't forced dispatch. The company I'm with now hit most of those things. The only ones, the only two it didn't really hit was uh, it didn't hit the percentage, and it didn't hit the um, – I, well, actually, that's the only one they didn't hit was the was the was the percentage. Everything else they really hit, you know, because um, I can't unfortunately since I'm leasing the truck from them, I can't I can pull other freight, but it's so much red tape and everything I got to go through to be able to pull freight for anybody else while I'm leasing this truck is you know it's it's pretty much pointless. Now, Mind me, you, after I pay the truck off, go ahead. Let me ask you this: you 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 went outside to an outside leasing agent to lease your truck, or you leased your truck from a company? I went to a company. Oh, okay, okay, but you, uh, but but by the sounds of it, you're actually able to take the truck to different companies. Am I hearing that right? Uh, 
that, I mean, that's what I was told because the question was asked in our orientation class. Like, I would be able to go take the truck and pull all the freight from other places like that. And our instructor, he didn't tell us no. He said no. He said you can. He's like, but I'm going to be honest with you. There's so much red tape you have to go through, but at the end of the day, you're not going to want to do it. He was like, that, that's exactly how he put it. You know, I haven't talked to anybody that has tried or anything, but one thing I've noticed, there have been a lot of drivers with this company that have paid their trucks off and, you know, stayed here. There have been a lot of drivers who paid their truck off and went, you know, to other places, vice versa. I mean, most of the drivers I've talked to are here are pretty much happy. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty good. The lease isn't bad. It's not strenuous. Oh, my God, speaking of, speaking of uh, crazy payments, I was listening to your last video with uh, – with the young man that was from North Carolina, but he was in Chicago trying to uh, lease the truck and everything else. Like they told him 2,100 a week before anything else besides it. Then before that, then after that, they had all this other stuff. I was like, Oh my Jesus. I was like, there's no way in no, 2,100. I was like, no way in the world. No. Yeah. That's, and I was like, that, that's, that's crazy. With, with, with leasing, I, you know, to be honest with you, I, I don't, I, you know, I don't have no, I don't have no more problems with leasing like I used to in the day. I mean, you know, it's, it's not for, it's not for me per se, but you know, I, I really don't have no more problems with it. Like, you know how you I used to down talk leasing all the time. I used to be like, "Yo, don't go lease. This, don't do this. Uh, left lane is closed. You motherfucker. Oh, okay, I got you. I got. You. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, lease. I tell, I tell um, people all the time before you lease, do all the research you can possibly do about that company that you're leasing from. Mm -hmm. I mean, talk. Try to talk to as many drivers as you can. See if you can find any reviews online. Mm -hmm. Make sure you read everything in that contract. Make sure it's not gonna. You know what I'm saying? Make sure it's going to be the best fit for you and make sure to see what type of lease program there is. Because when I was looking for police lease programs, I was I was hearing about all these, there's so many different types of lease programs. Like, okay, um, not, not, not to throw shade at Prime, but Prime, for instance, um, when this is coming from a company and a driver, I talked to the company a representative and a driver I talked to. Um, when I talked to somebody at the company representative, like far as leasing, um, they said they they have two different leases. Mm -hmm. They have the lease program to them. Pretty much, you are you're leasing a truck from them. You you're not leasing the own. You would lease the truck for three years. You would get uh, you would get like a bonus, and they will put you in another truck with the new lease. Versus the lease to own to where you would lease the truck for a certain amount of time. Then at the end of that said lease, you would have this balloon payment that you would have mm -hmm. to pay in order to own the truck. Yep. You yep. know, and I and, and my and my thing is okay. It doesn't make sense to me one to lease a truck just to, for a couple of years and not to own it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you're going to give me, whatever kind of bonus you'll give me or whatnot, it doesn't make, it must, doesn't make sense to me. If I'm not, if I'm leasing a truck, I'm leasing to own it or leasing to grow my capital up to, I can go somewhere else and, you know, build with the truck you, there. You know what? And, that's what I was versus, think, That's what I was thinking when, uh, you know, when I, when I talked to some of the guys about leasing, because I'm, I'm like this, you know, at, again, my whole, you know, my whole stance, my whole attitude change towards leasing but it's still it's still the same because i like i said if i'm I'm like you if if i'm going to put in money in this truck for three years yeah at the at the at the end of, at the end of the day i'm that i'm i want to own that truck <laughs> if it, to me it's a waste to renting a truck it's it don't make no sense to me i i, I can't see renting a truck from your company to make you money. I don't get that. So I got to exactly. I got to pay you to make you money? That I I don't I I don't see the I don't see the upside. Yo, I don't see the I don't see the upside to that. Yeah, two two plus two not equal to four in that situation. No, like you know, there's a lot of companies out here like they make a lot of their money off of leasing their mm -hmm. trucks. And I tell guys all the time, like, why are you going to lease a truck for three years? You know, you're going to make payments on the truck for three years, and at mm -hmm. the end of that lease, if you want to keep that truck, you got to come up with this huge amount of sum of money. Like I talked to one guy. Matter of fact, he was a U.S. Express guy. He had paid his. He was getting ready to pay his lease off, and he had, he was he had just got the bank to finance his balloon payment. Mm -hmm. I'm like, so you just paid off, paid this truck off for three years. And, now and you about now to finance got, the eighty thousand dollar balloon five, payment, right? You got you now. You about to now you about to be hemmed up for another five years in the truck that you in in, in the truck that you paid three years on. I don't. Yeah, it now, don't now make all sense all, to me. Now all in all, you 
and at the end of the day, you've had a truck for 10 years that you've been paying on for eight. Mm. You know, my lease is for six, my lease is for 60 months. It's just like, it looks like if you go to the car lot and get a car right now, mm-hmm. you'll pay a brand new car. You, 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 you'll pay it five years on the mine. It's the same thing. My lease is my, like my lease is nothing but like my truck payment itself is like five sixty a week. You know what I'm saying? That with all my other added expenses and everything else like that, it comes out to right around nine fifty. you know, things like that. Hey, that right around maybe, maybe 1100. Hey, you know what they, you know what? I just thought about this. You you know what, you know what companies will say to that? What I, what I said, what I said about, uh, it don't make sense to me. This is how the company is going to make, make it make sense. I'm able to get into a new truck every three years. That's how it's going to make sense. And, uh, you know, and, and, and for some people that, that, that will probably work for some people. But then, but then again, for me, like I said, leasing is not for me because if I'm going to, if I'm going to lease a truck, I I want, I, I want the lease to own, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't want, yeah. I don't want another, you know, only thing that I'll do with that is my cell phone. I'll, I'll trade my, I'll trade up on my cell phone every year. <laughs> you know, I'll yeah. do that. I do so, it I mean, with, the, yeah, I'll do it with that, but I'm, I'm not going to do it with an $80,000 truck. I'm, I'm just not. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, don't get me wrong. Some people are enticed with that newer, newer vehicle thing. Mm-hmm. The, uh, the, uh, Every new vehicle year, uh, every, every new couple years. of years, years like this. But you you drive trucks just like I do. We both have seen these trucks out here that look like they they so old that look they they held together with spit uh with duct tape duct and tape. spit in a prayer. Yes, you know, you know, and then they be they've been on the road. This truck out here twenty and thirty years old still rolling. My thing is, and what if I what if I decide to pay this truck off or walk away from it? The whole game plan is to build enough capital to wherever I go, I can go put some money down on a truck or pay for a, pay for a truck outright. That's what you know. What I'm saying, but about. something that's going to be decent enough. Yeah, but at, at the same time, you got to you guys got to realize, or oh, not you guys, but these guys who are looking in the lease. And if you go into a lease, you have to you have to take care of your truck. You know what I'm saying? You got to look at that. You can't look at that as like, oh, it's a company truck or whatever. You have to look at like that. That's yours. You're paying for money. You got to look at it like that. Like whatever kind of car you're proud of back home, you got to look at your truck the same way because that's going to make you money. And another thing I've noticed, there's a lot of guys out here that don't want to lease because they want to lease a truck with company driver benefits or the per, or it's not benefits per se, but perks. Mm-hmm. They want like well, most people don't understand where you're leasing a truck. You are now an independent contractor. You are now an owner of your of a of a small business, and you're in the business of yourself. So you had to do everything like according so. Like I've heard horror stories about people. There ain't no point in owner being an owner operator making four, five, six hundred, seven hundred dollars a week. I'm like, if you're an owner operator, lease or whatever the case may be, and you're bring, you're only bringing home four or five hundred dollars a week. Then you, you know, or wherever you, you at is you, something you, completely something wrong. wrong. Exactly. Something something's wrong in that equation. I mean, you 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 over here leasing and you only bringing home uh, fi- uh four five hundred dollars a week. Nah, you e- either that that's, either you got talked into you you got talked into bullshit. That's that's what that's what that was. The company was like, oh, the, the company must have came to you like, oh, hey, you know, you can uh you can uh. You know, make a little bit of money. You you can make a x amount of cent per mile, uh, and then you can uh you know reject any loads that you don't want to take, and you don't have you know you're not forced dispatch. Oh oh, I like that. That's what they must have taught you into yeah. at four at four five hundred dollars a week. No, nah, you yeah, crazy. it's just like even even still like well uh they like, bring up the hurt bring up Hirsch Rocket games they still blowing my phone up and they're trying to get me to lease a truck for them. Um, I hear that their lease program is pretty well, but it doesn't make sense to me. Why I don't want to be forced dispatch if I'm leasing a truck. You're yeah, not gonna that's, say yeah, that when, was a, I don't want no. I'm not doing that. That was a bit that that was a bit thing when she actually told me that I was like, uh, wait, you you're leasing the truck. I'm paying for the truck. Uh, you know, that's coming out of my money. I'm I'm taking full responsibility of the fuel. And I'm still forced dispatch? No, that's no. No. No, no that's not going to work. And then I think Hirschbach only lets you do I think they only do international. And I've driven international before. It's not a bad truck, but you know, it wasn't it wouldn't be my first choice either. All right, so with uh, so to finish this up, brother man, so CR England, uh, good if you don't have your if 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 
if you don't have no other way to get in your CDL? Yeah, I, I would say, yeah, if you don't have any other way to get in your CDL, if you just get your permit, if you get your permit and call CR England today, you'll be on a bus. What's today? Tuesday, Wednesday, mm-hmm. Wednesday. You'll be on the bus. You'll be on the first thing. You'll be on the bus Friday on the way to the next class. I would tell anybody CR England is a good place to get your foot in the door, mm-hmm. to get your experience. And after that, you make of it, you make your own experience of it. I can't, I can't, I can't tell people how to judge it based off my experience because that's exactly what it is. My experience, my experience would not necessarily be your experience. And like I said, it's some drivers over there that's been over there for four or five years. They got, they got a whole wall with million mile drivers i don't know how they they stayed over there so long <laughs> and they did the million miles yeah i did I, i'm I, I just knew when i was looking at my paychecks and how many how many miles i was driving to egypt from egypt to california back every week i was like no i can't i can't do this that boy so egypt all in all, to all california all, yeah, all in all, I'll say CR England is a good place to get your foot in the door. You know, I wouldn't necessarily say leave after you get that 90-day mark or whatever. I would say stay at least to either clear that loan out that they're going to give you or at least get that one year of over-the-road experience that a lot of these new truckers, a lot of people forget to tell these new truckers before they want to go get in another, go go to another company. If you want anything that's going to be paying anything halfway decent, they're going to want you to have at least of over-the-road experience. You know, and that and that that's very, that's a very important aspect of the truck driving game. That having that over road experience even before you go local, because if you drive over the road, it's pretty much you go local and your local home. It's pretty much nothing you can't do. Because if you drive through Wyoming in the middle of goddamn in November, you gonna know how to drive somewhere in Atlanta. Trust me. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's, it's the <laughs> same thing with Northeast. If you if you if you if you can drive up in a in a New York and hit them Bronx and hit them. Uh, Hit them five burrows, then you're a truck driver, bro. <laughs> you're, you're, a truck, you're, you're a truck driver, bro. You, 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 you that one. You, you definitely that one. All right, so that's what's up with CR England, man. And, uh, and on the leasing, what's, what's, your, what's your takeaway? What do you want the people to take away from leasing? Do your research. Do your research. Remember, you're going to be your own. You're, you're going into leasing to pretty much do do for yourself and pretty much start your own business. Whether you want to try to build an empire or you just want to have a small business to take care of you and yours to do what you want to do. Do your research. There's nothing wrong with leasing. You just have to do your research and know what you're getting into before you get into it. Don't go into a lease program thinking it's going to listen to all the success stories of everybody else out here and not know what you're getting yourself into. Do your homework. Research these companies. See who has the what the options are. See whether it's going to work out for you or not. Because, like you know, we've both heard the stories of these companies that say you can own a truck in three years. That come to the end of that lease payment, you got to pay one hundred and twenty thousand dollars to own a truck that's you know probably five years old. You know, don't don't try to get to a lease. Don't go into a lease that's going to end up you know you're going to end up paying for a truck for eight years. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times that's what end up happening. Mm-hmm. Try to find, try to try to find somewhere that works. At least get your foot in the door. And whether if you want to pay the truck off in the lease, always do a walk away lease if you can. If you could do a walk away lease, do a walk away lease. Because if any given time you get your capital up or your money up, and you just say, "Hey, I want to go, I want to go a different route." You know what I'm saying? It's not going to cost you anything to, you know, to walk away. Mm-hmm. And then a lot of times you get some money back in the case. You know, if like most of these places where you're leasing, you have to have a mandatory maintenance fund set up. Right. Whatever you got in your maintenance fund that they're holding on to you for, they're going to give you all that back. You know, so far as leasing, I say, I say go for it, but do your homework first. Every, everything ain't for everyone. You just got to understand, know what you're doing. And when you do start leasing, every, everything ain't, everything ain't going to be a home run. Everything ain't going to be good. You might have a bad week. I've had a bad week or two, but at the same time, I'm the person that'll look at and see what I'm doing wrong before I start pointing fingers and asking questions to anybody else. What did I to see what I did wrong to see what I can that I can you know make my situation better for next week. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I can keep having consecutive weeks in the black versus profitable weeks in the black versus having you know have being having a being in the green and versus nobody ever wants to be in the red. To where you have those horror stories to where you're a truck, you're an owner operator or lease operator. Well, if you're a lease operator, you're an owner operator. You know, to where you bring home five, six hundred dollars a week. If that's the case, you need to you need to reevaluate what you're doing yourself. Maybe it's something you're doing. And a lot of times, these guys don't realize that when you're 
you get on with these companies who you got to you got to take time into consideration. Like a lot of guys don't understand how much time it takes when you go to some of these shippers and you're always live load or live unload. Mm-hmm. You know, dropping hook dropping hooks are the world. I don't care what nobody say. Oh, you run a reefer? Yeah, I run dropping hook ninety five percent of the time. I don't mind going to some places. I'm getting unloaded nine times out of ten. I'm taking a break there anyway. You know, but everybody, it, it's the, it'll be the difference between you running two or three loads a week to five or six loads a week. Right. You know. All right. That's, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. My man, Isaac, thank you for coming on, man, sharing your story, sharing your experience, man. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully somebody that's listening, somebody that's watching, you know, you, 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 uh, you know, you're a testament of, uh, of, uh, of a supporter that seen my video. You was actually uh you see my video and you seen that you know you went through some of the some of the trials and tribulations you know from that and you you know was was good enough to come on to share your experience man that's 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 what i'm all about you know what i'm saying you guys want to come yeah, on yeah uh come on share your experience you know you know your experience might rub off on the next person or or maybe yeah. it, it maybe it will help out the next person so he won't have to get into uh situations that you got into or it may connect with another person that been in your situation so Thank you very much for coming on, my G. I really do appreciate it. You, you, you're very, you're very welcome. And just to let the people know, you know, he's he's really responsive and things like that. If you need comments, because the truth be told, I saw I saw my first video of his this morning. Mm-hmm. You know, I saw my first video this morning. Then I started watching YouTube, left a couple of comments. Here it is, uh, where it's it's one, it's almost two o'clock where I am right now. Here I am, where we're chopping it up about what's going on in the industry right now. Exactly, man. I, like I said, I. Like I said, especially I I just recently, oh man, what about maybe about a week? I mean, I had it. it you, I, I started a TikTok account uh like way back in the day, but I just wasn't heavy in it, you know. But since since I got heavy in it, I mean, I I mean, it it amazes me how how, how many people is uh is is gravitating towards me, man. So thank. Thank you guys from TikTok. I really do appreciate that. And uh, you know, and I'm still I'm still I'm I'm still YouTube down, but I'm telling you, YouTube, I'm telling you right now, soon as TikTok comes in the long form, guess where the lockout me and podcast will be? I'm just saying. I'm I'm, I'm just saying this. You know, y'all, you, you you need to you you need to change something up because them YouTube shorts ain't doing it. I'm just telling you, them YouTube shorts that you call yourself doing, it ain't working. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> TikTok, I put up, a, I, I I put up a video in the morning, and that shit would be up at like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten hundred views by the end of the night. I put up put up one in the morning at YouTube, it'd be like a hundred, about hundred and fifty. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, I, I'm I'm not saying nothing against you, YouTube. I'm look, YouTube. I fucks with you. You know, we still here, Lockout Men Podcast Show. But I'm I'm telling you, TikTok. I don't know. You you, you better you better change something up over there. <laughs> but anyway, uh, no, Isaac, you, man, thank you very much, man, for coming on. I really do appreciate it. You stay safe, my bro. Thank you, bro. You make sure you do the same thing as well. I will, man. I will. You got my number. You know how to reach out. Next time you want to link up or chop it up about something, man, let me know what it is, and we'll we'll get it in. All right. I got you, bro. All right. I'll holler at you in a bit, bro. All right, bro, bro.